Next up, we are going to talk about the major divisions of the nervous system. Okay, so I'm going to present a chart for you towards the end of this section, but let's first look at the two main divisions of the nervous system. So first up, I'm actually going to present an abbreviation for you. Um, so that is the CNS. And that stands for the central nervous system. So there's really just two parts to the central nervous system, and that is the brain and the spinal cord. So when you think CNS or central nervous system, think brain and spinal cord. The second main division, and one will be subdividing itself, is the PNS which stands for the peripheral nervous system. And the periphery is anything that's not towards the center of you, it's off towards the side, it is often defined as that. So I presented here two abbreviations for you to start learning. So the CNS is the central portion, which is really just two components, and the peripheral nervous system, which we're going to go ahead and further subdivide. So the peripheral nervous system is basically anything that isn't the brain and the spinal cord. That's what I tell my students. But it is the nerves and all of the nerves that come off of the brain, um, the spinal cord, and then branch out through the course of the body. Okay, so we are going to divide the PNS or that peripheral nervous system into three more subsections itself. So the first up is what we call the somatic nervous system, right? Somato or soma, if you look at our previous video in this unit, refers to the body and it controls the muscles. So when you hear that term somatic nervous system, think about all the things that go out to your muscles and controls those muscles. The second subdivision of the peripheral nervous system is the visceral nervous system and the viscera refers to your internal organs and so the visceral nervous system is going to supply the nerves to the organs of your body and then third we have the autonomic nervous system and auto really means self right and self-control we'll break this down a little bit later but it really controls those things that are really unconscious to you they're not the things that you think about um, but are still happening inside of your body moment to moment. Okay, so I did tell you that we were going to break down autonomic. And again, anytime we're breaking down words, hit pause if you need to, to tell me what pre prefixes, root, suffixes, and definitions are. So hit pause if you need a moment. But let's break this word down. So we do have a prefix here, it is auto, which means self. There is a new root term, which is nomo, which refers to the law. And our suffix ic or ic, which means pertaining to, we have seen this one several times. So the term autonomic refers to being self-law, meaning that you're really just controlling yourself, your brain is controlling yourself while you're not really consciously aware of it. This autonomic nervous system can be subdivided twice into two further systems. And this could be its own separate video at some point. If you're interested, please let us know in the comments below um, and we'll create one for you. But I'm just gonna get into some of the bigger items with the two subdivisions of the autonomic nervous system. So the first division is the sympathetic nervous system. This is often referred to as fight or flight system. So it's the portion that really speeds up your respiration, speeds up your heart rate. It does a number of other things we, we can talk about, um, but it's that fight or flight component of you. On the opposite side, the other division of the autonomic nervous system is called the parasympathetic nervous system. It's often referred to as the rest and digest component. Um, and so think about yourself sort of lying on the couch, your heart rate's down, your respiration's down, your body systems have slowed down. And in reality, you're really just somewhere in between these two. They work together to run all of those things that you don't think about moment to moment. 
Okay, so if you like a pictorial version of this, this is what we just talked about. So you can see here the nervous system first is divided into the CNS, which stood for the central nervous system, and the PNS, which is the peripheral nervous system. And if you remember, the central nervous system was two components, the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system was again broken down into three components, the somatic nervous system, which supplied your muscles, the visceral nervous system, which supplied your organs, and the autonomic nervous system, which does all of those subconscious things that you are not thinking about moment to moment. And that autonomic nervous system is broken down into its two components, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic portions. 